In exercise 12b, you're getting to know arches as top, arches known from B. We will be using another uh, analysis tool, and this will be unioning. So, I'm going to open the exercise 12b there. This may look familiar because this is using 12a, which is creating buffers around the streams and uh, nesting areas. And now we want to um, union these together. So go ahead and open up the toolbox. And again, this is under the uh, analysis tools. Okay, this is so analysis tools. And, and now you will have the uh, overlay. And then union, double click. We were using in two uh, layers. You can again, you can use the drop down tool, or you can just add it this way. You want to use the nest buff, and also the stream buff. Now we want to give this an appropriate name. We'll call this no cut area because this is the area where you should not, not have. To, um, to cut. We will um, make sure that we're only joining the FIDs and go ahead and click OK. This is one of the features to come. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and look at the more cut area later. And as you see, uh, this is very important to understand. Uh, there's only one object ID, but under the FID of nest buff, this is why we are just join the FID. Sometimes there's a one, which means that it was inside the nest buff. Otherwise, it's a minus one, which means it is not inside the nest buff. In stream buff, we have a uh, difference because some of them are minus one, meaning it is not inside the stream buff. If it has an, any other number except 4 minus 1, that means that it was inside the stream buff. This is important for our next step. Because now, we want to uh, overlay the areas to a final union. To do that, we want to turn on the stands F. Again, we want to union. And this time, we want to use the stands F and the no cut area, which we just used. We'll give this a name uh, final analysis. Um, this time we want to make sure all of the attributes are turned on and go ahead and click the It takes a few seconds to do the analysis. And uh, spaghetti. <laughs> it's very confusing. So, well, what can we do? Let's go and look at it. Now we have many different, uh, different GCD is all F, but it uh, has different cut areas, etc. Everything is now together on the table. If you look at the bookmark closer, uh, we'll go ahead and turn on the symbology. Again, that's uh, double clicking, symbology, or category. Um, actually, we want to use labels. And we'll use the FID of no cut area. So, if it's a minus one, it means that it's harvestable. You can cut down the trees. If it's not a minus one, that means you cannot. So everything here is in the buff of the nest. You cannot have this. But outside, it's neither a river nor a river buff or a harvest buff. So you can harvest that. Now, numbers, that's <laughs> confusing and nobody can understand that. So we'll go ahead and change the symbology to colors. Uh, you should remember how to do that. It's just a symbology. Uh, unique values. We'll quite an added value. This time we want Oops. let's use the final. 
Final analysis we want to use. Let's see. Minus one. Okay. And we change this to harvestable. And put five. That's all the areas that you can harvest. This is all the areas that you cannot harvest. One last thing that you can do, of course, is take away outline roots. This is somewhat and there you are. You have a map of um, the area, buffers around the mess and the rivers, and uh, you have an easily definable um, visual interpretation of where you can go, where you can go. That's the end of exercise 12B. If you finished, go ahead and see if you work. I'm going to exercise 12C.